Hello everybody and welcome to House Flipper. Now this is the game where you have to clean up houses and make them profitable for sale. Now, I kind of think um, I have played quite a bit of this game already. You can see, continue game there. But we are going to reset all my progress and uh, start a new game. Now the last game that I did, I flipped all the houses really quickly. I painted all the walls away. Wait, wait, white, <laughs> and um, basically went back to a neutral base on them all and then just put in little bits and pieces that I thought whichever seller I was going for would want. Um, but I didn't go all out on it, you know? So this one, I think we're going to go all out on it. So I'm going to do a couple of um, quests to start off with and then we'll buy a little house and we'll do it to the most immaculately beautiful standards possible. I might not make as much money that way, but I kind of think that it will give me more satisfaction playing the game that way because I always kind of felt like I, I was leaving the houses not quite done when when I was finishing them off. So, yeah, no, I feel like it would be nice if I just did a playthrough like that. And also, I'm a little bit behind the curve. People have already done lots and lots of plays through of this game, so I'm kind of thinking that might be a nice thing to do because everybody else will be just flipping the houses. I will be doing them up to the most immaculate standard possible within my own sort of design limitations <laughs> but we'll see anyway new game so we're going to start off in my office so this is my little office here you can see on the loading screen beautiful beautiful little office see the first thing i want to do is like replace that door like get rid of that door it's awful also there are quite a few quite a few little um, things in here. It looks like, because I've played it before, I think all of the uh, little notifications have turned off for it. So it's okay. I know what I'm doing. You just got to clear the place up, make it look pretty, get rid of all the rubbish. Don't even look in there. Ugh. Um, so basically, if we have a look in here, there are 20 houses for purchase that we can do up. And I got to, I think in my last little playthrough on my own, I got as far as buying this house here, the 161,000 house. So I haven't had a look at the family house or the just married house. Um, I was finding with this one, it was a bit frustrating. Can you see the dirt up there? I couldn't reach that dirt and it really annoyed me. So I may skip over that house. This one looks like it doesn't have dirt on the outside and this one looks like it's okay as well. But we can't afford anything right now because we only have 30,000 and we need at least 31,000 to be able to flip our first house. I would like a bit more than that ideally because as I say, I wanted to do a good job on these houses and I will need to buy things in order to do that. So I think we'll do a few little, few little jobs first and it'll help you guys see what the game is about and, and how it kind of introduces you slowly into how to fix things and how to paint things and how to plaster things and how to add tiles and all that sort of thing. So um, Sarah Lewis would like us to replace the radiator that her boyfriend stole from her house. Oh, sorry, her ex-boyfriend. Okay, so uh, I'd like to hire your company to put my house in order. I know from photos face posted on face spam that my ex-boyfriend broke into my house, made a huge mess and stole the radiator. It's possible that something else is missing. Please make order in the house and replace the missing devices. I would ask you not to inform the police about the whole matter. I will settle it myself with my ex-boyfriend after returning from a business trip. Well, I'm really glad we don't have to, we don't have to do that. We don't have to worry about that. So we now have a mop so I can go and clean the house up. So I'm going to be able to clean the dirty house and hopefully I will also be able to uh, fix the radiator now doesn't look like there's any outdoor tasks so it looks like the house is perfectly clean from the outside okay so inside we're, we're looking at a bit of a dirty disgusting house here so uh, let's just dispose of all this trash on the floors garbage rubbish whatever you want to call it depending on where you live i would call it rubbish and it looks like he's re he's done a number on this place, hasn't he? he really has. Look, ugh. cans everywhere. He's been drinking beer, spilt it all on the sofa. 
He knocked her little vase down. Oh, what a meanie. And he smashed the radiator off the wall. Although he conveniently seems to have taken the, the old radiator away. Maybe he wanted to sell it. I don't know. Can you sell radiators? I'm not entirely sure. So just picking up all the rubbish. Oh, I am improving. Turn on the tablet to choose what you want to spend on the new skill point you got. So to do that, you press the tab button and your tablet comes up. Tab the tablet. Kind of makes sense to me. Now, I am going to tell you right now that the most frustrating thing in this entire game is not being able to see where dirt is. So to be able to see dirt in the minimap is the most useful thing ever. So all of my cleaning points will be going into penetrating vision first and then I will put them into the, the other things like long range and fast hands. I hope that's okay. Since it makes the most sense to me. So what have we got in here? We've got a dirty disgusting bathroom. Okay. Uh, dirty, disgusting bedroom with no duvet. He stole the duvet as well. This this guy, this guy, I'm glad she dumped him, you know? So anyway, you right hand click and you move on to the mop tool to use your mop. So we're going to mop all this up and then we'll get onto that radiator. So that's the bedroom all nice and clean and all the trash is removed. Now you could just get away with just cleaning everything up and leaving all of the furniture just like all the furniture just on the floor you know but I am going to straighten the place out properly because I did say didn't I that for this let's play we are going to do a proper job of everything proper job sorry you can't say proper job without saying it in that accent uh, from now on you have a tablet at your disposal y yeah you told me about that already it will allow you to buy things which are going to be useful in this job because we will need to buy the radiator before we can fit it unfortunately. Uh, it looks like we missed a little doofer over there. That door goes just outside. Right, let's have a little clean up in the bathroom, shall we? We'll just get all of the rooms nice and clean. Nice and 100% clean. I can see on the minimap there's still some dirt somewhere around here. Oh, on the floor there, look. There we are. Are we 100% clean there? Yes, I'm very good at cleaning in this game. So 100% clean. 93% removed trash. Oh no, we missed one there, didn't we? Look. We're 95% clean dirt. So there's a little bit of dirt on the welcome mat, I think it is. Or the door... Maybe the door frame. Yeah, 100% cleaned all the dirt. So we have completely done everything we need to. Except for mounting the radiator. So to mount the radiator, we need to go to store. We need to go to installations. And we need to go to radiator. Buy now. See, I quite like this part of the game. Then you have to assemble the radiator. Some people are saying like they would prefer it to be a bit more difficult, like. But I think, you know, considering the sort of game it is, I don't think this is too bad. So you basically stick in the radiator valves and you screw them on with nuts. And then I assume I assume we're going to pretend that I go and turn the I turned the water off on the way in, and I'm going to turn it back on on the way out. Okay. So let's straighten some stuff up. So this is not straight. He's clearly like moved it out, and and put it in a silly place. So we're just going to straighten that out a little bit. Jump on the sofa there. Sorry, Sarah. I don't mean to jump on your sofa. Uh, the TV was kind of towards the end there, wasn't it? So it's kind of in line with the sofa, letting the electrical sockets be seen. Uh, let's also pick up this little vase here. We can pop it next to the TV. I think that's probably where it went. Uh, pick up the table and we're going to shift and scroll to rotate it again. In a way... Um, place. I should have picked up the chairs first. Ah, it's going everywhere. Right, you stay there. Pick up the chairs. And again, scroll and rotate them so that they are at a nice 90 degree angle. Because I like 90 degree angles, so they look nice. And then this one the same. Tuck the chair in as much as I can. 
There we are, Sarah. Do you like your house now? That's much nicer, isn't it? So we've done like 100% of our um, progress that we can possibly do in this place. It's looking lovely now. Sarah will be so happy with us. You know, we've made her house look so much better. Picked everything up for her as well. Kind of annoys me that the kettle's halfway off the stove. It should either be on the stove or, or away. No, 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 I'm getting ridiculous now. It's getting silly. I don't know why you would put your bedroom behind patio doors. So everyone, I suppose in a one bedroom house, that's actually not so bad. If you're in a family house, that would be a terrible way to, to live really, wouldn't it? But anyway, enter to complete the order. So we have $785.39 to add to our, our house budget, basically. I would probably like a good three or four thousand that I can spend on the house as well as actually buying the house. Because as I say, I wanted to, to do these houses up to a really decent standard. So I do want to do a few little tasks first before I flip my first house. The first house I did before, I made a really good profit on it, even though all I did was like clean it. So <laughs> I just cleaned it and painted the walls white and, and people were like, yay, it looks amazing. Thanks. So yeah, so we now have 30,904 and we can clean a garage or we can fix some radiators. I'm, I'm thinking a garage cleaning would be quite cool. So we need to clean the garage, please throw away all the boxes, trash and old tyres, don't forget to clean the window, it's better not to move the tools, my husband doesn't like when someone moves them and he can't find them afterwards. Regards, Caroline Smith. Okay, let's go to Caroline's garage and see what that's like. Nice car there. You can pick up the car apparently. Turn it to previous position. So I won't even, well we could go in the house. We could go and check out Caroline's house. It's a very beautiful, lovely, nice house. With a lovely kitchen. It all looks super lovely. This is a, a nice layout. I like this layout of house, actually. And a couple of nice little children's bedrooms is that the bathroom in there with a, i don't know what is the thing right tell me if you're from america or anywhere else in the world where it is normal to put a washing machine she got lovely oh, i'm not so sure about the purple stripes and just the random three purple stripes there oh well yeah if you if you have a washing machine in your bathroom tell me in the comments because that just seems weird to me so here is the garage that needs tidying up should not take me long to do this. All the old tyres. And I think I'm going to get a decent payout for it as well. Dispose, dispose, dispose. I don't know why we have so many old tyres in here. Those are new tyres. That's a spare set for this car, I think. just a box of tools we don't want to touch the tools apparently that will will get us negative points or something There's a load of tools there i've got to clean under them how am i supposed to clean under them a load of stuff behind these bikes should not take me very long at all so we're only like 10 minutes into the game and i've already almost done my second quest box behind there oops I usually like to try and get away with um, doing all the rubbish first and then I'll change my tool to my mop. Just get rid of all these little tyre tracks. I don't, I'm not sure that the tyre tracks like that would just come up with a mop but uh, we'll, we'll leave them the uh, artistic licence on that one. And you can see on my mini-map that there are black splodges that signify the dirt in this room. We are 62% of the way through and then I will show you the window cleaning mechanic which is quite cool. Mm -hmm. uh, we're 85% of the dirt. So there may be some on the roof. Oh, there's one more tyre track there. This little box is dirty as well. 
And then there's probably a couple of things on this rack here that uh, need a bit of a clean. Oh, it's the table. That's the one. There we are, 100% clean dirt. So we're going to jump on top of all his tools. Don't tell him I did that, okay? And we're going to go with our little squeegee. It's a very squeaky sound, a little squeegee. Oh, squeegee is tiny as well. I need a better squeegee, guys. As you upgrade your mop, I think you get like a wider squeegee. There we are. We cleaned the window. I know, I missed a spot down the bottom. Shh, no one tell anyone. Okay, and we are done. Completely order. And we got £476, sorry, 84 cents. Wonderful. I do need a little bit more money than this though, guys. Wow. This might have to be the saving up for the house episode. Have you noticed by using the gallery, you can choose an image from your hard disk and use it as a poster or picture to hang on the wall? No, I am not interested in that at all. Why would I want to take pictures of scummy houses? Okay, so amaranth walls, baby on the way, and radiators. Amaranth walls is a horrendous job. It's really, really bad. I'll pay you if I'm fully satisfied or you get nothing. Winter's coming, the winters are hard, and there are no radiators. Mount them. Yeah, let's just go mount load radiators. That sounds easy enough. Okay, there's no radiators at all anywhere in this guy's house. So how about we go and buy a bunch of radiators then? I can do this one fairly quickly, I think. I'm quite quick at doing these uh, assembly tasks. I don't know why I have to make like car racing sounds when I'm trying, when I'm doing up nuts. I don't know why that is. Okay, there's a radiator here. Did I have a perk? Yes. It's a handyman. Oh, okay. Yeah, 20% faster mounting, I guess. No, actually. Plastering. You won't understand quite yet why I'm doing that, but mounting is not a difficult job. It's not hard. It's not... It doesn't take a lot. Plastering is horrendous. So I'd rather have points in plastering. Okay, so let's assemble you. I mean, it does get a little bit harder, the mountain jobs, when it's stuff like washing machines. You'll see that maybe a bit later on. They are a bit more difficult. Like, radiator is a really easy one. So we've got three radiators to mount. <gasps> he said he had no radiators. He has one. i to find it. Maybe it's the bathroom one. Yeah. There we are, so you need a towel radiator. Which is a very different kind of radiator. It's this one. So this will be a bit different to assemble actually, so you guys can see a different thing to assemble. There we are. Beautiful. Two more nuts to do. Two more nuts there, and finally unscrew the valve and let all the water in. Wonderful. So we've done minimum progress. So there, I could put in a toilet. That would give me more progress. I did say I was going. Oh, it's a, it's a sink actually, not a toilet. Already got a toilet over here. So we could buy a sink. Shall we buy a sink and see if that gives us any more um, money for doing the job? So that would come under bathroom and we'll just get like the smallest littlest sink so we're gonna spend another 47 on this sink oh no i needed to apparently unscrew that first that was me telling you guys i'm a pro at this so basically taking all of those out um so that we can actually mount the sink before we buy it so there we are now it'll mount so now i can assemble it 
So I'm putting in the little screws and then we're going to screw these. Not sure what they are actually. I think they maybe, oh, I don't know. Washer, nut, washer, nut. Oh right, yeah, they're like, um, they must be water cutoffs, so they're like valves, so you can cut the water off going to the taps. So you put the little hose in there, and you screw down the little, well, not, not a washer, is it? The little fastening. Is that okay? It's not really a wing nut, is it? Some, it is kind of a nut, I think. This one, I, it's good that I'm not a plumber, isn't it? Then again, you don't need to know the name of the thing as long as you know. And that's the U-bend, isn't it? No, it's not. Kind of the... I mean, you, toilets have U-bends, so, so what's that? That's like... As I say, useless at plumbing. But I know I know what needs to go into plumbing a sink or whatever, and I know how to... Uh, I'll look things up if I need to do plumbing. I have fixed radiator blocked radiator valves before you basically take that wee valve off and then sometimes there's a little pin inside that valve right and sometimes that little pin gets stuck if the radiator has been left cold for too long so you have to go and like tap it very gently with a, a hammer and it'll pop out or put some WD-40 on it if it won't pop out and then you need to tap it with a little tap it with a tiny little bit of force not too much where you might bend the pin or you can just very gently ease it out with some pliers and then that will uh, let your radiator heat up again so there you go she lab plumbing advice so we have mounted all of the devices that we can and we got an extra 200 for doing that so actually doing you know everything you can seems to make a bit of profit there so we have completed the order so, do you, do you guys think we're maybe got enough money to buy a house yet? I don't know, because we can do quite a lot without spending too much money. Let's see how much we've got compared to how much the house would be. So, thirty-two thousand we've got there, and it would be thirty-one four four six. So, we would have about five hundred pounds to spend on the house if we bought it at the moment. It does look like it's got an awful lot that needs doing to it, but a lot of it's probably cleaning. So how about we do one more task and then we'll buy a house, I think. Baby on the way. So, clean the house, set up a nursery with a crib, a changing table and some toys and paint the room light pink. I hate painting so much, but never mind. Okay, there's only one room, I suppose. We'll paint, we'll paint your room light pink for you. I now have a new tool. Yay, it is a paint roller. It's not that exciting. So first things first, let's get into these rooms and just get rid of all of this rubbish. Because I like doing that. It's like my favorite thing in this whole game. Don't ask me why. Every bit of rubbish I'm getting rid of here, you can see is increasing the income on the job. So cleaning all the other rooms up, doing a little bit extra, gives me the extra money that I'm going to need to buy this new house. And you can see that I can't point to it with my mouse, unfortunately. Um, you can see account balance and income up there. So I'm already on 900 just from cleaning up all the rubbish, which is crazy. So if I then went and mopped everything, that would be even better. I can't believe they keep their bedroom like this. Gee, what is wrong with you people? The, these people, they're, they're going to be having a baby. Right, so I'm assuming this is the room where I'm going to be putting the... Yeah, this is the room where, where the baby's going. So, I'm going to clean the whole rest of their house for them because I'm a nice person and I believe that they need a fresh start for this baby. Okay. So, let's get the mop out. Like I said, I'm going to be thorough in this playthrough. This is going to be a playthrough where I leave everything spotless. 100% clean and I hope that there are some of you that appreciate that Probably a lot of you that do actually if you're watching something like this then you probably do really appreciate a lovely tidy house 
So we have only got 81% of the dirt in this room. So one little thing that sometimes happens is sometimes the door lintels get a little bit dirty. Sometimes... Now one thing you can do is you can put on a flashlight and you can have a proper look to try and see where all the dirt is. But I can only see 80... There's only 81% of the dirt in there has been cleaned. We're already over a thousand now. Every time I clean a little bit of dirt, it's helping as well. Windowsill as well. Never forget the windowsill. Always look at the ceiling because there's sometimes dirt on the ceiling. We've only got 43% of the dirt in here. Let's have a look behind that door. Oh, that's the way. That's why they were hiding all their dirt behind the door. So sneaky. We've still only got 69% of the dirt in here. Now, one thing I will need to do is clean the window. That might count towards it. I'm not sure. I need a way better squeegee. Like, I had a really amazing squeegee before. It was really wide and it did loads of cleaning at once. This squeegee is really rubbish. It's ages to clean a window. Okay. So we've cleaned the window. 69% of the dirt done. There's some dirt behind that toilet there though, look. And on top of the toilet, 95%. This room's tiny, like, how is, there, how is there dirt hiding in here? Like, seriously, it's the tiniest room ever. Gotcha. Okay, so what are we, are we still 81% of the dirt in here? That is crazy. I'm sure that welcome mat always looks dirty. I always want to clean it, but I don't actually think it's dirty. The other thing you can try and do is, aha, there was dirt on the door. Let's see if there's any dirt on this door. How about the other doors? I bet there's dirt on all these doors. Ah, oh, there is, there is. So much dirt on these doors. There we are, 100%. Yes, okay. Let's have a look at their bedroom then. See, my, my cleaning has so far earned me one and a half grand towards the new house. So this is going to really help. Wow, that looked like it was a different, whole different paint job. It was so dirty. Oh my goodness me. Some behind that table. Come here. There. 78% dirt. Okay, we've got some here. There might be some behind the door as well. We, we did one side of the door. No, it looks clean on that side. Okay, cool. 82% of the dirt is gone. Window sill. Always check the window sills, guys. Always. And clean the windows. I don't know if I'm actually going to get any more money for cleaning these windows at all. I hope I do. I'll check next for the next window I do. I'll check the difference in the price that I'm being paid for the job. So it's 1,800 now. I haven't even done what they've asked me to do. I haven't even started. Oh yeah, yeah, there is a task for cleaning the window. So 1,851 and we'll see what it goes up to when we clean the window. So like you definitely should try and do all the little side quests because I bet you I'll get so much more money for doing all the cleaning as well. Whoa, where's that squeegee going off to? Yeah. Yeah, this is an amazing game just to like kill a little bit of time, you know. Right, so this room is 100% done, and we earned about $200 for just cleaning the window there. Did you see that? It went up from 1800 to 2000 Okay, so we've done... Oh, we haven't done this room either. Okay, let's clean the kitchen. And then that's every room except for the baby's room done. Okay. So I'm kind of thinking we might need like a two-parter for this. We're gonna have like the first one, which will probably be all of the cleaning, 
all, the little, all of the little jobs up to and including just having a little look around our first house. And I'll probably end the episode there and we'll do another episode which will be all about getting that very first starter house looking as wonderful as possible. Clean the windows in here as well. There are a lot of windows as well. And I have a very small squeegee. In fact, let's have a quick look before we start that as to whether we can uh, upgrade our cleaning yet. We do have a cleaning upgrade. Um, we could get the good mop. Maybe just, maybe I am getting better at looking for dirt. So why don't we get the good mop and see if we get a bigger window squeegee. So we're on the blue mop now. And look, we have a much bigger window squeegee. That's so much better. So worth it. So sometimes it, it just needs a little bit of, you, you kind of miss a spot. You gotta go over the window like 400 times and eventually it decides you've cleaned it. Okay, next one. We'll get a lot of money from this job. Are we done? Are we done? Are we done? No? Yeah, now we're done. Two windows done. These windows are big windows. I'm glad I upgraded the squeegee. Okay, so. And last one. And then I'll show you how to paint. We're gonna have to buy a bit of paint to do the painting. So, right, that's every room in the house done, except for the baby's room now. So we're gonna go and do the proper job that we're actually meant to do in there. So first things first, we'll clean it and we'll clean all the windows and all of that. Malarkey. So this house is going to look so good. I love, I love stuff like this. Oh, I really do. I love making messy things clean. And I think that's probably part of the reason I like things like Stardew and stuff like that at the beginning when you want to like clean up the farm. I really do enjoy that. But this game just seems like made for that rather than like it being part of the game. So again, it's like not something that's going to be like the most long lived game in the world, but it's one that you might just want to come back to and do over again every so often. Just if you want a bit of a chill, relaxed time. And the window still needs cleaning. And I think that's 100% clean. So it's 93% cleaned. Another window sill. Okay, so we've done 96% clean. Oh no. Oh no, guys. The door? No, it's not the door. We can't have this baby sleeping in a in a dirty room. Check him with my flashlight. not seeing anything on the mini map to help unfortunately as well so that kind of sucks okay i'll clean both windows and see if maybe that's adding to the dirt it doesn't normally add to the dirt count but okay babies need sunlight babies get jaundice and stuff when they come out of the womb so you, you need to like make sure that they uh have enough sunlight Sometimes you have to even put them in the windowsill so they can get lots of uh, vitamin D. Help them with their jaundice. Because obviously they had no sunlight for like nine months while they've been sat in the womb. So that's, you know, tough being a baby. Okay, I'm going to move the, the cabinet. And I'm going to see if there's any dirt possibly lurking behind it. I don't think there will be, but just in case... Nope. This is why I was saying like getting the mini map thing really really helps. Just finding that last little bit of dirt. I'm just gonna quickly sweep over the window. Sorry, the door frame. That sometimes holds dirt that you can't see. 
We've got available skill points. Please tell me that they're... Oh, look, I can see most of the dirt in the minimap. Can we see any more dirt in here? No. But apparently there is dirt... On the door outside. Ah. Is that counting towards this room? Yep. Apparently that door counted as being in this room. So sometimes doors can be a bit funny. So that's something to watch out for, guys. I didn't actually realise that myself. That actually on the other side of the door there was dirt. So I'm glad I up upgraded that to help me. But anyway, let's um, quickly switch to the hand and move that wardrobe back into place. We have to move just in case there was dirt there. That will do me nicely. So the next thing we need to do is paint this entire room pink before we put anything down in it because it's easier to do painting while you've got a relatively empty room. So what kind of pink did we want? Past was it pastel pink? Pastel pink, yes. Just wanted to double check. We don't want to get the wrong kind of pink colour. Now, let's buy... I'm, I'm going to need more than one. I know I'll need more than one. We'll buy two to start with and see how we go. And then I've got my paint roller. So you just right click, go to the paint roller. And then you left click and slurp up all that pink paint. And then you paint one stripe at a time. And once you get a little bit better at painting, you'll be able to paint two stripes at a time. And then, once you're even better, you can paint, you guessed it, three stripes at a time. And I think the top level is then four stripes at a time. Let's see if we can do behind the wardrobe without moving the wardrobe. So, so far we've made three and a half thousand just on this job. So we're going to have plenty, like when we finished, we will have plenty to spend on our new house that we're going to flip. Very exciting, isn't it? Making a, a room for a new life to come into. A new little girl. Might not even need two pots of paint. We're doing really well so far. Although we've got to go all around the window and stuff. I'm doing the big bits first and then we'll do the fiddly bits in a minute. I was watching, I think it was um, it's something called Lemony Snicket's Series of Unfortunate Events on Netflix. I love the baby in that. The baby Sunny, it's, she's called. It's called. And she she has really sharp teeth. She can she can bite stones and 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 she can make lock picks and all sorts of things with her teeth. She's amazing. So I'm hoping that the baby that's gonna move into this room will be like Sunny. Have very sharp teeth. Maybe not so good for the parents. Also, Neil Patrick Harris plays like the best villain ever in that in that series. So if you have like Netflix or any way to watch that, it's pretty cool. I like it. I used the new pot of paint before I finished the old one. I'm such a rebel. So this will be probably the most tedious part of this. Because, uh, oh no, I, I, I did need the new one. That one's done. We are nearly all the way around the room. And then we'll do all the little windowsill bits. And then we get to do the fun part, which is to like put all the baby stuff in here. But yeah, you only really have to do, like I would say, one big job as part of this. Uh, and then you can move on to the house flipping side of it. So probably about half an hour. I think we've been playing about half an hour to get enough money together to start on your own house. Probably a little bit less if you want to just use the first house to literally flip and make yourself a bit of money. You can literally just buy the first house as soon as you've got your first thousand. And then just um, clean it up and flip it. Now, 
little tip here with window sills. You have to do this bit and this little bit behind so that you're catching that little strip just there. So if you don't do that, then it'll be like you haven't painted everything and then you'll get really annoyed because you'll be like, I have, I don't know which bits I've missed. And you have to do all these bits up here as well. You can't miss any bits, otherwise it'll penalise you for it. So we're 71% done on the painting. So all these little bits up here as well. I know I need to go back to that bit. So yeah, the two pots of paint that I bought originally might not even be enough. this roller nice and loaded up i think that's the end of the paint pot we might have to buy a third one just to do that last little bit mm, we might make it with two We did have a little bit more pink paint there. Got to do that whole bit under the radiator, I just realised as well. Oh no, we're never going to make that. Oh, we need more. No! But pastel pink paint is only $20. We've made 4441 so far just cleaning this place up and we've spent $60 on paint. I think we're all right, you know. I'd like to finish this baby's room off. I wouldn't like the baby to be like, why is there a random white bit? This decorator didn't do my room very well. Yeah. And we can sell back the paint that we don't use. So I will show you, we have a little sell gun and I can sell that back for $15. So actually, that's not so bad. 100% of the pastel pink has been done, so we'll sell. And Oh, I should have disposed of those the other way because uh, they add, it adds towards your cleaning score if you dispose of it the other way. So dispose of things with your hand if you can. Okay, so we need some objects. We need a crib. This will be the expensive bit. So you could just finish here and be like, I'm not putting any of the baby stuff in, but I want to do it. I want to put all the baby stuff in the room. It's cute. So... Beds, crib, 112. You can change the colour of the drawer underneath to yellow or light blue, but I think for the baby's room we'll go for white. You could also have a light blue crib or a light brown crib, but I quite like the white, uh, white on white little crib there. So I'm going to just pop the crib like, oh, you know what? That looks quite cute, like right in the middle of the room on a little angle like that. However, it might be a little bit cramped in this room for all the objects I need to put in. So why don't we just, the baby, yeah, just in case they do have jaundice, we'll put their crib right under the window. <laughs> I'm not going to put any curtains up though. So, we then need under cupboards, bookshelves are under cupboards in this game. So another $80 on a nice bookshelf for all the baby stuff. So the nice big cube storage area. I like these cube storages. I think they look pretty nice. I have I have one in my home, but it's half the size of that. It's like got eight squares on it. Uh, next is a cabinet with a changing table. Which is actually under the same one. Yeah, we could go with the orange. Does the orange go? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do the orange. That's fine. It goes with the orange stripes on the cot. Even though pink and orange, I wouldn't put together personally. Oh, what's the next one? So, poof. We want to poof now. That would be under, I assume, chairs. Yeah. So we can have lily-coloured, blue, orange, or green. Well, orange seems to be the theme of the day, so why don't we have an orange poof? Pink and orange. As I say, not the colour scheme I would choose, but seems to be what the baby stuff comes in. Why wouldn't you make the baby stuff come in pink and blue if you're going to give me quests to paint a whole room pink? I don't know. So we need another poof. Okay. So I'll stick one in the other corner next to the baby's bed, next to the crib. 
So we're just doing a little, the small turns on this. Because the, the big turns would turn it in the cardinal directions. So that is all of my tasks done. We are 100% done and it's 5,600. So I probably spent, it went up from like 4,000 to 5,000, definitely. So we must have made at least 800 more on that. And I probably spent 100, 2, 3, 4, maybe 500 on items. So we made a, a good profit on actually finishing that job off as well. Fantastic. So, okay, my peeps, we're going to go and we're going to buy our first little starter home. And then... And then... Hmm, I'm going to leave you guys there. So we're going to go and purchase it and we'll have a good look around. So we've got 37,000. So I'm going to buy the abandoned house for 31,000. We'll go and have a little look inside. And then in the next episode, we will do this house up as beautifully as I possibly can. So, buy house. Go to house. I really don't dream about a house where I have to sleep on the floor. Well, I don't blame you. On the left, you can see thumbnails of buyers. From time to time, they'll comment on your actions. Pay attention, especially to those on the top. The higher they are, the more they are willing to pay for this house. So, my top buyer is... Basically, um, I know from my previous playthrough, this guy is an accountant. So, we have this house that has many, many dirty windows. It has a door that will probably need re replacing. We have cobwebs everywhere. Dirt all around the siding. I mean, the siding could be nicer as well. I'll see what it looks like once I've cleaned it up. All dirty windows, dirt, 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 all everywhere. And you can see on the mini map how dirty this house is. It's horrendous. So let's go in and have a look. Okay, so we've got a door off the hinge there. We've got dirt and boxes everywhere. The walls have not been painted at all. They are still down to bare plaster. We have a kind of disgusting kitchen with broken doors. We have a cockroach problem. Nice. Uh, the bathroom has definitely seen better days. We have mold on the seat. Well, like uh, damp on the ceiling, mildewy stuff on the ceiling. That's just water stains, actually, isn't it? That's. And then we've got this room in here with like a kind of bed sort of thing. Uh, so I assume that's the bedroom. So this is the living room, kitchen, bathroom. So for the space, it's actually got like a decent amount of rooms. It's a one bedroom place. So we'll be looking for it for like student or accountant or whatever. So I might actually make it into like a bit of an office space here for if I am going to uh, go for the accountant guy to try and sell it to him. We'll see. But yes, yeah, so that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed and if you did then please do come back for the next one and I will show you what I am going to do with this crazy, dirty, disgusting house. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you all next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.